Shirdi is an international pilgrim center. Uh, in the season, about 20 lakhs people are coming from all over the globe to take the darshan of uh, the shrine of Sai Baba. And uh, there are lot many things are happening uh, with this big crowd. Uh, the prostitution, the number of uh, increasing number of eunuchs, then uh, the MSMs. So all these groups are found in more number in the Shirdi area. Some incidents happened and uh, the areas of prostitution are demolished in uh, Sirampur and Kopargao. So in Sirampur, the, this construction lobby, politicians and police have conspired against the women from red light areas because the red light area is at a very prime location and uh, they have put the reason of the religion and they have attacked to the red light area, demolished it and uh, uh, since then the women have no space to stay, they have no space for the business and of course they don't have any other business or livelihood alternatives than prostitution. So all this big crowd of about 500 women is scattering here and there and Shirdi was uh, the, the big destination for this uh, prostitution and most of the women have chosen to work in the surrounding areas of Shirdi. The same thing happened with Kopargao where this Sainath Naka red light area was demolished by the government agencies because uh, they said that it's a slum and that, that is on illegal land, uh, land owned by the government. So they have demolished everything and uh, the women there, they also have uh, started coming in the areas of Shirdi. Shirdi is a big pilgrim center and you will wonder to know that there are more than 5,000 rooms available in various hotels, lodges and also in the, uh, the Sai Baba Sansthan Trust. They own a huge uh, residential homes for these pilgrims and uh, many people come as pilgrim but they uh, do lot many things including this prostitution and there was urgent need to start something to help these women to deal with their health issues, to deal with uh, their social security issues because lot many people have also started troubling these women, police have started troubling these women and um, all the women and the community has demanded that Snehalaya should start a center at Shirdi because the profession is very much concentrated in the Shirdi since last 2-3 years. So Snehalaya found the space and uh, started its office in a rented place. Uh, the people are thinking something different. They, have, they were thinking that uh, there, must, there may be a prostitution in that area because of Snehalaya. But we have clarified that we are working on health, we are working on their collectivization and we will pro we are here to protect their rights and we are here to protect the health of all including these women so our um, lot of people we have involved in the inaugural ceremony uh, politicians social workers the religious people the businessmen and uh, since all these people have came for the inauguration in a big number all these threats have uh, wither out and now our center is getting very good response there. Very soon, in a one year, we want to set our own uh, center in our own space uh, in the surrounding areas of Shirdi. We are in search of uh, land, donor of a land. And when we get the land, we, are, we will sure we are sure that we'll also get the donor for the construction. And it's a need of time to start such type of center for health, collectivization, uh, the legal awareness, right-based work in the Shirdi. So this Shirdi office, we are very optimistic about it.